Water Valley optometrist Dr. Rayford Edgar is retiring after 40 years of practice. In 1950, I opened up my office for the practice of optometry uh, in the Paul Parker building upstairs. And at that time, uh, due to financial situations, we didn't even have air conditioning but had a fan. And the equipment was uh, not quite up to par as it is today. And Water Valley, at that time, we did not, did not have a, an eye doctor uh, that was here all the time, but Dr. Rothschild came down once a week and did a real good job. And, but the uh, techniques that we use then are just so different than we use today. But in Water Valley, of course, at that time, there was still, it was a railroad town primarily uh, and farming town. And of course, over the years, that has changed dramatically to more of industry and diversified uh, businesses all over the uh, city and the, and the county. Uh, the people are different, you know, we had, a, at that time, we had a lot of small farmers and they didn't make a whole lot of money, so there wasn't a whole lot of um, money that's coming into town at that time, although there was good businesses. And businesses up and down the street, of course, stayed open seven days a week until about, on Saturdays, about 10 or 11 o'clock. And people would come to town on Saturdays just to visit and park in the main street. And of course, uh, in my practice, uh, it was a little slow because people just were not used to having eye care uh, like it should have been. My first patient was my Uncle John Edgar. He was my first patient I had. I remember it specifically, sure did. And the next, and the next two were my mother and father. Uh, uh, when I began my practice with uh, the best equipment that they had at that time, uh, when we fitted glasses, and of course contact lenses hadn't even come into the pictures uh, at that time, uh, we probably had about six to ten frames to select from, and that was just about it. Of course, as we began a practice here, things picked up a little bit more, and I moved from the uh, above Parker's building to the Bank of Water Valley building and stayed there for a number of years and uh, finally it was sold and I built my own office here and I've been here I believe uh, about 16 years and my practice has, has done real well and I, I've had several doctors from Water Valley that uh, has studied uh, and has gone through my office. Uh, I have my nephew who is practicing in Reno, Nevada, Dr. Ward. I had Dr. Evans who practiced at Calhoun City. I've had uh, Dr. Trailer who practiced in Clarksdale, and Dr. Steve Edwards, who's in with me now. They've all passed through my office, plus a few others I feel like I've had an influence with. Dr. Cochran, who's the president of our school in Memphis, uh, went through this office for one summer, and I, real, I feel real proud and, uh, of, of everyone that has been so successful in this area. Uh, at the present time, uh, we operate uh, uh, every day uh, except uh, on Wednesday afternoon and Saturday afternoon. Over the, over the, over the, uh, the time that I have been in practice, which is uh, over 40 years, I probably have looked at somewhere between 30 and 40,000 pairs of eyes and examined. That would include uh, almost all areas. Uh, of course, out of my office here, we have uh, screened a lot of school children over the county and other counties, uh, Head Start, nursing homes, uh, so, I feel sure that that would be a pretty good estimate of, of the uh, complete composite of the eyes that I've, I've probably looked at in this many years. Something kind of kind of unusual. I have a pen here that, that was uh, given to me, I think, probably by my wife. And this pen has been in use for 25 years. And so I'm almost worn through the metal on it, but it's still usable and I still use it. Uh, since I'm planning on retirement at the end of this month, uh, I probably will fill in for some of the doctors in this area. I've already uh, helped out one or two, and at the same time, I'm, we're planning on opening up a uh, bed and breakfast uh, situation at the, which is located next to my office here, and we'll probably operate it uh, after it's completed, which would be several months from now. So we feel like that's going to keep us fairly busy.